all right guys welcome back to another repair with me before we get started though i want to send a shout out to one of my loyal subs in the, by the name of nicholas ca and he got the right answer to the last video where we asked why do i always start these heat pumps up in heat mode and he was precisely right um, to drive all the refrigerant to the evaporator and back with any debris from installation right through the filter dryer and then to the compressor instead of pulling all the debris right into the compressor um, so he's exactly right good job Nick he told me he actually doesn't even have a background in HVAC but he obviously understands the process pretty well and now I'm getting a phone call okay well anyway so we got an interesting little case study today this unit is one that we have installed and it's it's a little bit noisy for our customer and I've already been here worked on it a little bit the noise is a couple of noises one it's a Bristol recip and so I've got a compressor blanket over there I'm gonna put on there see if we can quiet that up a little bit but the strange noise is that when the unit shuts down, there's a loud womp that comes from the fan motor. Now when I disconnect the compressor and do just the fan motor by itself, the noise isn't there. If I do just the compressor by itself, the noise isn't there. When they're both on together and the unit shuts off, we get a pretty violent little bump. So let's take these panels off and let's see if I can duplicate see if I can duplicate that noise here see if you guys can hear it and we'll see what it's gonna take to solve it I have a couple different steps we're gonna take here today I got a new motor just in case just in case it's a motor I don't know if that's gonna solve it or not um, as you can see I've already tried I tried putting a sure switch on it thinking maybe that would change the way it shuts off but nope it doesn't so we're gonna hit this test button here I don't know if you guys got to hear that or not I'll try it one more time here I hope you guys hope it picked that up that little noise there um, really shouldn't do that so let's go ahead and pull this disconnect and first things first I'm gonna disconnect the fan motor and this is just gonna be the compressor as you guys heard oh. she's out on overload as you can see guys I've, I've got a liquid line solenoid on this unit um, simply because it's got a half inch liquid line and this is for off cycle migration control so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and power up that solenoid that way we're not going to start building up pressure or anything. All right, let's try this again. Nothing. Okay. Alright. Disconnect again. And now we're going to take the common. Alright, we've got the common disconnected to the compressor. And we are going to do just the fan motor. And oddly enough, 
noise is not there. Shuts off really nice. So go figure. Uh, go figure that. It's just blowing my mind why that would do that. Let's put the common back on. Common's back on. is back. <laughs> Go figure, right guys? Alright, so let's unplug this thing. We're going to pull the top of this unit and get started changing the motor. slide these controls out. Loosen that guy up there. See if we can keep that bundle together. I don't know. That stuff's all wrapped up in there, huh? Oh boy. Pull through one at a time, maybe. plug gonna fit through there. See how this is gonna go. Ugh, put the 
these screws up. Oh, this could work, huh? Don't want to cut a wire. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this to come through here. Let's see what that looks like, huh? Yeah, it's not a problem. We got a little plan for that. Uh, let's get this motor swapped over. Like I said, I don't think this is going to solve it, but just curious is all.
Oh wow, this one's a Gentec, not A.O. Smith. <laughs> Whatever. I just don't think it's the fan motor because if it was you would think it would do it when whenever I did just the motor. So Hey. I'm trying a fan motor first, like I said, just for fun. Yeah. I don't think it's going to make a difference, but this is supposed to be a better motor. You can film a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. F A. 48A G yeah. It's a little different. This one says it has ball bearings inside it. I'm pretty sure this one does not. But both are made in China. Sounds Along with everything? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> the best, right? <laughs> yeah. But I got the I got the compressor wrapped up. Now you have officially a high end unit. Uh -oh. I had to cut it and make it fit those pipes. I already got a ton of fucking weed down in there. Oh, yeah. And he made yeah. a real long roll. Yeah. A lot of leaves back here. But they're made for that. When I stop seeing like the bottom of the pipes and stuff, <laughs> I'll clean it out. But other than that, they're pretty much made for that. They know it's going to happen. Doesn't look like it, yeah. Yep. What's cool about it though, and that's why I like it, there's so much behind the scenes going on in there yeah. that it's fun. Um, it's fun to learn new stuff, and just when you think you know it all, you come across a problem, and it's like, what's going on? There's some sort of blockage or something in one of those lines or what's going on so you never stop learning unless you don't care to learn then you're yeah, done already yeah, you know, if you care about what you do you never stop learning mm -hmm. or you can just go home and <laughs> drink some beer and forget about it and Chill. cuss and say that's <laughs> Fucking systems. Yeah, I wish they would. Like they used to. Yep. I could be so sloppy. <laughs> yeah. Now you have to treat them like a delicate flower because they're so thin, you know. <laughs> you have to talk sweet to it. And
rat thing off the motor. Uh, yeah. Here. It's actually one that you really can't even buy anymore. Uh -huh. But it's off an old train unit, and those were really notoriously, they had a strange sound to them. And you could hear them like at your neighbor's house if it was running. Mm -hmm. um, so the reason I picked that one was it probably has the best decibel rating of any of them. It's nice and thick and big, covers everything up nicely. If anyone is gonna quieten it down, it's this one. Like I said, they don't even make them anymore. So I kind of knew which one I wanted to try and find. Right yep, yeah, this is just a new motor. We will that see. doesn't do what you're gonna try the uh yep. different timing on them. Yep, we're gonna I ordered a special delay box and wire it up and test it. A little tricky the more I thought about it, because this unit has to defrost still. And I have to make it have power even after the unit tries to shut off. so. Mm -hmm. But I think I've got it kind of in my brain how I'm gonna do all that. And that should, with these two items here, it'd be curious to see if on camera if you can hear the difference, you know. Of I did a couple before, as far as the tenor of the compressor even. Yeah. Like I said, that's gonna quieten down a couple decibels, that's for sure. All right, uh, let me plug this sucker up. Actually, let me pull the wires through. All right, let's do a quick test. So this is all back together, all coming on at the same time. Still there? That little bump, you know? Felt it. Yeah, yeah, you can feel it. It's not the motor. I didn't think it was. The start was much quieter. It is, isn't it, with that blanket? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so. Fan motor didn't fix it. I didn't think it would, but I thought, man, if it did, I mean, you'd know it just needs a fan motor, but. Now it's time for the mad scientist part of the video. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take this fancy controller off because that didn't do a darn thing. Yeah, I don't know if anything. I think it got louder inside. Like With uh, the controller? Going through the pipe. I kept uh, hearing whatever was going through the pipe, I guess. Freon. Yeah. It's, it's liquid Freon. Freon. It's, you can think of it like a water pipe. You know, it's liquid Freon. So. All right, yeah. Like when it turns on, like someone like opening the pipe. And yeah, you, just hear you it all may, rushing through there. You may still hear that, you know. It is doing its job. I just didn't think I heard that before. Probably, maybe not. I mean, it works. Every unit has its little. Um, and then maybe that controller had something to do. Works. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. Yeah, been pretty busy. I'm doing okay. So I got to thank Mr. Zach Talon875 for showing us this little doohickey here. It's going to come in handy. This is what's going to now control our fan motor. We're gonna tuck her in here, I think. Yeah, we're gonna tuck her in there. She's going to delay off 12 seconds and delay on just one second. That's all I wanted to do. Delay on making that loud noise. So let's get her mounted. See if I got a bit tip screw in here. Yes, I do.
No, we are wiping. Okay, so let's bring Actually, you know what? I gotta leave those there. Our new frost board has got to still control it. So this is going to be to my fan. Yeah. Confusing myself. So red, and this is our solenoid. Okay, double check on my wiring, which is kind of crazy, I agree, but let's see what happens.
taking that. So that blade stop totally. Shut the thermostat. All right, guys, I'm going to call it a success from there, and I'm going to end the video. Just, you know, fair warn if you get a service call in Tallahassee, you might run across something that's going to make you scratch your head. But, hey, you can figure it out. I leave all, look at this. Now, see, I'm going to leave the paper, this paper too. Put that in right there with this one. Good to go.